talking about 10 reasons why you might want to stop watching what I eat in a day videos. So of course, as an eating disorder therapist, I've seen firsthand the very, very real impact of what I eat in a day videos can have on people's relationship with food and their body. We see it all the time from Kristen Cavallari's What I Eat in a Day videos to, of course, Gwyneth Paltrow's What I Eat in a Day articles, videos, reels, all of the things. These snapshots of celebrity and influencers' days are normalized and almost expected by the general public. And while on the surface they might seem harmless, these videos often do more harm than good. So here are 10 reasons why it might be time to stop watching What I Eat in a Day videos. Number one. They can trigger disordered eating. For people struggling with disordered eating, which actually is approximately 72% of women or folks who are recovering from an eating disorder, these videos can be more than just unhelpful. They can be downright dangerous. They often glorify restrictive eating patterns, morality around types of food or obsessive food behaviors. They potentially trigger or exacerbate disordered eating thoughts and behaviors. Number two, their comparison trap. It's all too easy to fall into the trap of comparing your eating habits to those of content creators. But here's the thing, your body, your lifestyle, your nutritional needs, they're unique to you. So trying to mimic someone else's meals or eating patterns is like trying to wear shoes that don't fit. They're uncomfortable and potentially harmful. Number three, one size doesn't fit all. These videos often present a single day's worth of meals as if it's a universal blueprint for what's popularly viewed as health. In reality, nutritional needs vary based on factors like age, genetics, activity level, and health conditions. What works for a 25-year-old fitness influencer who we don't know what's going on behind the scenes, they could be struggling with an eating disorder, is likely entirely inappropriate for you. Number four, the hidden influence of orthorexia. Many of these videos promote an obsession with eating pure or clean foods, which can contribute to orthorexia, an unhealthy preoccupation with righteous eating. Remember, no single food is inherently good or bad, and a truly healthy diet allows for flexibility, satiety, and variety. Number five, the reality check is completely missing. Let's be honest, most of us just don't have the time or resources or inclination to prepare picture-perfect, aesthetically pleasing, perfectly balanced meals three times a day. These videos rarely show the messy, rushed, or imperfect meals that make up real life, creating unrealistic expectations about what normal eating actually looks like. Number six, they reinforce the food police mentality. Many What I Eat in a Day videos inadvertently promote a rigid, rule-based approach to eating that can feel like you're constantly being monitored by the internal food police. This mentality categorizes foods as good or bad, leading to guilt and anxiety around eating. In reality, food is just food. It doesn't have a moral value. Instead of fostering a joyful relationship with eating, these videos often strip away the pleasure and spontaneity that can be a part of our normal everyday food experiences. They rarely show the social aspects of sharing a meal with friends, the cultural significance of traditional dishes, or the simple joy of savoring a favorite treat without judgment or compensation. Intuitive eating, on the other hand, encourages you to challenge these internal food rules and rediscover the satisfaction in eating. It's about learning to feel and start to trust your body signals and honor your on and honor your and allow all foods to fit in your life without guilt or shame. Number seven, they oversimplify nutrition. Nutrition is complex. Full stop. These videos often reduce it to simple calorie counts or broad categories like clean eating, ignoring the nuances of balanced and joyful nutrition. This oversimplification can lead to nutritional deficiencies and an unhealthy fixation on certain food groups. Number eight, they're typically providing unqualified advice. Most, con most content creators aren't registered dietitians or healthcare professionals. While they typically might have the best intentions, they're often sharing personal experience, which might be stemming from behind the scenes, personal struggles with food and body. Most content creators aren't registered dietitians or healthcare professionals. While they might have the best intentions, they're often sharing personal experiences rather than evidence-based trauma-informed advice. This can lead to the spread, and it does lead to the spread of misinformation and potentially harmful practices. Number nine, they promote food anxiety. Constantly thinking about and planning meals can lead to increased anxiety around food. Eating should be enjoyable, not a source of stress. If you find yourself worrying excessively about your next meal, it might be time to step back from these videos and seek professional help. And number 10, 
the whole picture is missing. A single day's worth of meal doesn't represent a person's overall diet or relationship with food. These videos don't show the balance achieved over time, the treats that bring you joy, or how eating patterns might be changed based on activity level or special occasions with family and friends. Remember, a healthy relationship with food is about nourishing your body, enjoying your meals, and finding balance. And remember, a healthy relationship with food is about enjoying your meals, nourishing your unique body, and caring for yourself in a compassionate way, not about rigidly following someone else's eating patterns. If you're concerned about your relationship with food, maybe consider talking to a registered dietitian or an eating disorder therapist for support about your specific struggles. Your process to finding a healthier relationship with food is unique, and it deserves more than a one-size-fits-all approach from a video. If you're looking for eating disorder therapy support in your relationship with food, Reclaim Therapy is a therapy practice that provides eating disorder therapy in Pennsylvania. Please reach out. We'd be happy to support you.